right? I have all our defenses. Yes, okay, I guess it's my turn. Nothing that God knows not exists. And what he knows exists forever, changelessly. For thoughts endure as long as does the mind that thought of them. And in the mind of God, there is no ending, nor a time in which his thoughts were absent or could suffer change. Thoughts are not born and cannot die. They share the attributes of their creator, nor have they a separate life apart from his. The thoughts you think are in your mind as you are in the mind which thought of you. And so there are no separate parts in what exists within God's mind. It is forever one, eternally united, and at peace. And this is again redirecting our attention to our thoughts rather than to the forms of this world because our thoughts are more real than the forms because this is an illusion, which is really kind of hard to get to. That takes, my thoughts are more real. I know, people are so used to thinking, oh, that's just in your mind. Yeah. That is unimportant. Right. But this, this bookmark, man, that's got reality. And our experience, uh, what just happened here between us, and that's yeah. important. But what your thoughts are about what happened? What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's really hard to get this, but he's telling us. Ooh, in fact, uh, we how have, is the... We have, we have to okay, so we can do another yes. paragraph, because this one seems to be a good one. Right. Would you like to read it, Chan? Okay. Thoughts seem to come and go. Yet all this means is that you are sometimes aware of them and sometimes not. An unremembered thought is born again to you, but it returns to your awareness. Yet it did not die when you forgot it. It was always there, but you were unaware of it. The thought God holds of you is perfectly unchanged by your forgetting. It will always be exactly as it was before the time when you forgot, and will be just the same when you remember. And it is the same within the interval when you forgot. I know, isn't that amazing? <laughs> these That's our only God, crime. These thoughts of God must be what we are. Mm -hmm. right? So it's God's thought system about what we are, who we are, what we are, which reflects you know, all those good things we've been reading about. And those thoughts are in our mind, but we've forgotten them. And that's our only crime. That is no crime. That's no crime. Punishment is not deserved. And that means everyone else here, you know their only crime? They forgot who they were. Right. So they're acting crazy. They don't deserve our condemnation and our hatred. They deserve our Prayer. realization for them of who we are. Like he said, you, in your salvation is the world healed. And now it's God forgiven for you chosen to find your brother as a friend. And it's as we decide, it is your will to heal him because you have decided with him he is healed and you are healed. This is what we're doing of this forgot, for, forgetfulness. Well, and, we can right. well, that is hopeful. Isn't that? 